Hey guys, it's Emma, and today I'm going to be talking about some graphic novels and manga and comics that I want to read soon. I am very new to this whole graphic novel scene. I started reading graphic novels a couple months ago. I just kind of got sucked into it, and I really enjoyed the couple that I've read so far. Some of these I already have copies of, and some of them I don't, but basically this is my graphic novel comics and manga TBR list. The first one that I want to talk about is Nimona by Noelle Stevenson. This is one that is very widely acclaimed. People really like it. From what I understand, it's about a girl named Nimona who has shape-shifting abilities, and she teams up with this villain whose name is Lord Ballister, and they're determined to kind of prove that the heroes of their world are not actually heroes, and that's what really drew me to it because I always like those anti-hero characters. The idea of a young girl with these supernatural powers teaming up with like this sinister bad guy sounded really interesting. So I'm really excited to read that one soon. I don't actually have a physical copy yet, but I'm hoping to get it soon. The next ones that I'm going to talk about are the Orange Complete Collections 1 and 2. I've already read Orange the Complete Collection 1 and I really enjoyed it. I think this is the first manga that I've ever read. I'm not going to say that for sure, because I probably have read manga before, I just can't think about it. These are the stories of these kids who go to school together. Our main character receives a letter from her future self telling her how to avoid this tragic thing that happens in the future. She has to kind of follow her future self's directions, also just navigating like school and friends. I wasn't expecting to get so attached to the characters because it's manga and it's just not the same as reading a book. But there were moments in Orange the Complete Collection 1 where I was tearing up. That surprised me a lot, so I'm really excited to get to the second one. The only reason I haven't read it so far is because I sell myself the goal to read a hundred books this year. I'm not counting manga or graphic novels, so since the year's coming to a close, I've been focusing on meeting that number of 100 books, but I'm pretty close, so I might still read these before the year is over. I love the artwork in these. It's really emotional. I think that's one of the things that lends it to being an emotional read. It's just really pretty and kind of looks like watercolor in some places. While I was reading this, it like turned my fingers black from turning the pages from all the ink. So I was like constantly wiping my fingers. Oh, here's a good example of how pretty it is though. I don't know, I just really like, I really like the artwork. The next ones, I'm not actually sure if these are considered graphic novels or manga. I think they're graphic novels, but someone told me recently that they were manga, I don't know. It's the Maximum Ride graphic novels. Maximum Ride is so nostalgic for me. I don't know if you guys read this series when you were younger, but I loved this series. I never read Twilight, I never saw the movies, I was never a Twihard, I was never a part of that whole thing, but if I had a Twilight equivalent, it probably would have been Maximum Ride. Like, I was that age when I read them and I just really liked them and they were really funny and to this day I will still read them, although it's been a long time since I reread them. So rereading them as graphic novels has been super fun. Again, I've read the first one already and I'm hoping to get to the other two soon and I really like rereading them as graphic novels. It's fun because it's a different medium, but I'm still getting to reread, but it doesn't take long at all. I read this one in a day, although to be honest, it doesn't take me long to read the books either. I should probably give you a quick summary if you don't know what Maximum Ride is. It's about these kids who were experimented on and they now have bird wings and they can fly. And our main character's name is Max and she kind of takes care of this group of kids and they're on the run trying to escape from these scientists and also trying to save the world. And it's really funny. There's so many times that I've laughed so hard when I read these and again they're just really nostalgic for me so reading the graphic novels has been really fun. I really like the artwork. I like the way that their wings are portrayed um, because when I, I remember when I was reading these for the first time I had a hard time picturing exactly what their wings looked like. Let me see if I can find a place where they're flying. Let's see here. But like when they weren't flying I was confused what their wings looked like folded up so it's just cool to see it in a graphic novel. The next one I'm going to talk about is a comic and it's Paper Girls. This is by Brian K. Vaughan I think and it's illustrated by Cliff Chang and Matthew Wilson. Honestly I don't know a lot about the story of this one. It's the artwork that drew me in. I was in New York City in the Strand and upstairs they have a section for graphic novels and comics and this one was just laying out on like a popular table and I saw the cover and I was like oh what's that? I just love the artwork of this one and so I picked it up. Since I don't know a lot about it, I'm just gonna read the Goodreads thing. It says, in the early hours after Halloween 1988, 
Four 12-year-old newspaper delivery girls uncover the most important story of all time. Suburban drama and otherworldly mysteries collide in this smash hit series about nostalgia, first jobs, and last days of childhood. So that just sounded really interesting to me, and then this whole color palette and art style I just was drawn to. So I'm excited to read that one, and this is the first volume. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on here? <laughs> Oh, I like this page a lot. That's cool. Anyways, I like this whole punk 80s style that it's in, so. The next one is Zodiac Star Force. It's written by Kevin Panata. I don't know if that's how you say his name. And the illustrator's name, I cannot even attempt to say her last name. Her first name's Paulina. Uh, it's right there. That right there. <laughs> This one, uh, someone in my local bookstore suggested it to me and it just looks amazing. It's about an elite group of teenage girls with magical powers who have to deal with math tests and high school at the same time as fighting off monsters and stuff. It just looks really fun. Like it kind of looks like that TV show. What was that old TV show about like the three sisters and their dad turned them superhuman or something? Do you know what I'm talking about? It kind of looks like teenage version of that. It's just really bright and colorful and it looks like a lot of fun. Like I said, it's about an elite group, of teenage girls with magical powers who have to combat math tests and monsters at the same time. And it sounds awesome. The next one is one that I've heard a lot about and I'm really excited to read it because it's science fiction and I'm not a science fiction person at all when it comes to books, but I have a feeling that with a comic series, it's gonna be really different and then I'm gonna enjoy it. And it's Saga and this is again, volume one. This one's also by Brian K. Vachin and Fiona Staples is the artist, I think. Yeah, Fiona Staples is the artist. This is what I know about it. Two people on the opposite sides of this galactic war who fall in love and get married and have a baby. And I think these comics follow the story of their son. Either it's narrated by the son or just follows his life as a child whose parents are both on opposite sides of this war. That sounded really interesting to me to follow the son's story and this whole forbidden love thing. And I don't know, I'm really excited to get into it. And a lot of people love this series. And just looking at the front with like this really cool girl with the green hair and wings and the guy with horns. It just looks awesome already. The inside has kind of this like, they use these muddy colors, not in a bad way, muddy colors. I mean, like the tones are earthy. That's a better word, earthy. I think that this one is a little bit of a higher level of um, violence and just like more mature. So if you're young, you might want to be discerning about this one, whether you read it or not. The last one that I have, I picked up honestly, because I just read Throne of Glass like months and months ago. I've had this for a long time and haven't read it. It's Deadly Class by Rick Remender. And let's see, who are the illustrators? Wesley Craig and Lee Lowridge are the illustrators. This one, I really liked the Goodreads description, so I think I'm just gonna read that. It's 1987, Marcus Lopez hates school. His grades suck, the jocks are hassling his friends, he can't focus in class, but the jocks are the children of Joseph Stalin's top assassins, the teachers are members of an ancient league of assassins, the class he's failing is Dismemberment 101, and his crush has a double-digit body count. Welcome to the most brutal high school on earth, where the world's top crime families send their next generation of assassins to be trained. Murder is an art, killing is a craft. At King's Dominion School for the Deadly Arts, the dagger in your back isn't always metaphorical. If that doesn't sound awesome to you, and the cover is so cool, and I'm a sucker for like stories that take place in schools, but they're not real life, like Harry Potter and the Raven Boys. Here's kind of the art style. And I like the idea of teenagers fighting and also if they're the children of like criminals then they're not going to be exactly heroes and I love anti-hero stories so so this one sounds really good too. Those are all of the graphic novels and comics and manga that I'm planning to read soon. Let me know down below if you guys have suggestions for me because I am very new to all of this and I would love some suggestions of things that you guys like. If you liked this video please subscribe. I am Miss Emma Reads a lot on Instagram, Tumblr, Goodreads. If you want to check out my social media. I'll put all the links down below and thanks for watching and I'll see you soon with a new video. The orange complete conclat the complete conclat oh my gosh that's a tongue twister. The maximum ride graphic novels whoa